Welcome to Guiyang. I'm Maureen and I'm here to take you through the city's food culture. Guiyang is the capital of Guizhou and is home to the Tian cuisine which is recognized as one of the best cuisines in China. I heard the food here is spicy and sour. I can't wait to try it. Let's go! Good morning from Guiyang. We are now having the most popular breakfast here which is Chang Wang Mian. Now Chang Wang literally means pig intestine plus coagulated pig's blood. Mm. Guiyang has over 30 ethnic minority groups and Tong is one of the largest. So here we are at this beautiful restaurant eating some of their signature dishes such as the beef tripe, the homemade bean curd and tung 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 cow's head in chili oil. This is actually called Hong Yun Tang Tou and apparently they will welcome their VIPs with this. And the meat, you get a beefy beefiness, but it's okay. I mean, when you pair it with the chili, it's not too bad. Is it because you're a singer? Huh? Dong The beef stock is clear but it's still robust and complex. Apparently, it has been cooked with beef bone marrows and some Chinese herbs for at least two hours. If you are hankering for the real deal lip numbing grilled fish, this is for you. Mm. The fish is so soft and it soaks up all the flavors from the Sichuan chili oil. So it's numbing but not overwhelming and it's definitely spicy. Sour fish soup is actually a traditional dish from the male people and this is gonna be our lunch. So in order to make this dish, we need to catch our own fish. But very fragrant. Mm. The soup base is very complex. You get that clean acidity from the fresh tomatoes and just a little bit of spiciness from the chili. I'm now at Qingyan Guzheng, one of the most popular historical towns in Guiyang. Lined with lots of street food, I heard even the locals come here to makan. How delicious is it? Let's check it out. <laughs> One of the must try at Qingyan Guzheng is actually braised pig trotter, which they actually call it scholar trotter, Zhuang Yuan Ti. So apparently, this scholar during his olden times, he ate this and he was very clever. And people think that, oh, by eating this, you'll become clever. And that's why they call it Zhuang Yuan Ti. Really, really, I'm serious. It's very flavorful, it's very tasty. I think it suits us. And the most important thing is this. Skin, collagen, guys, it's collagen. Siwawa is actually a vegetarian tacos, or you know, in Singapore we call it popia. And with me here is Mr. Yuan, he will teach us how to wrap siwawa. So wrap it like a baby, wrap it like a baby swaddling. <laughs> then we start to cook. This is your home right? Yes, yes. But the more you cook, the more it will be good. So you have to eat it one bite. Here in Guiyang, 
look at all these delicious street food. I had a great time exploring the city's culinary culture and I realized that people here like it hot. So if you like it hot, you know what to do. Fly Jet Star to Shuang Shuang Kuiya!